everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a dupe test video. What? So my first product is the product that I will be seeing if it's a dupe or not. I don't know what I'm saying. Today we will be comparing Excuse my language, it's just them, the mascara, the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. This is a cult favorite. Um, this is actually my mom's. I don't use it because I'm not just a huge fan of it. Just because I feel like it kind of gets smudgy on my under eyes. But lots of people love it. That's great. Also, I want to say... This tank top, I have, I just filmed three demos, so that's why this tank top will be seen in other videos, is because I filmed three demos before I'm filming this video, so just want to put that out there, but with today's video, I will be testing the, is it a dupe or not? So let's get rolling. So to start off this video, I just want to start by comparing the brushes. This one, there's not just a ton of product left because my mom has had it for about three months. So I don't know if that'll make a huge difference, but it might. I, I believe this is like a $23 mascara. And it, hold up. The one that I'll be comparing it to is the... Rimmel London Scandalized Retro Glam Mascara. This is said to be a dupe for the Better Than Sex, so we will see if it is or not. Let's get rolling. Let's compare the brushes. So right here is the Better Than Sex. And it is... Uh oh. Dropping things. It is a semi curved brush and the bristles are kind of really close together but you know whatever now for the Rimmel scandalized one it is very hourglass sculpted and the bristles are there's like a bunch of bristles in one and then they're all kind of separated. So, all in all, the brushes are kind of the same, I think. Um, scandalized better than sex, two faced. So, for this comparison, I will be doing the Rimmel Scandalize on this eye and the two faced one on this side just to see if. They look the same on the face and what their differences are, pros and cons to this. I'm just going to apply it now. So let me go curl my eyelashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have curled the lashes and I am ready to go. So I'm first going to start with the Rimmel London one. And I'm just going to start with a couple coats. So here's the eye with the Rimmel London one on it. There is a big difference. I absolutely love this mascara. I used it yesterday. Love it. I even went out and bought the waterproof version because I love it so, so very much. So just thought I'd put that out there. Now I'm going to do the Too Faced one on this side. Got my scar on my nose. Okay. 
Okay. So, I'm besides I got mascara on, like, under places. So, I'm going to go in and do just one more coat, just for the sake of it, to really see. This is a do. So Rimmel London is done. Okay, I'm gonna bring you guys a little bit closer. But first, let me get rid of this mascara. If you don't know this trick, take a spoolie and just flick away that mascara. Okay. Okay, you smoked your pokey. Let's take a closer look. So, on right, oh. Right here we have the Rural London. And over here we have the, the Too Faced. So I do believe that the Rimmel London does make my eyelashes look longer. And the Too Faced makes them look full fuller. When I look in the mirror. <gasps> there you are, iPhone. Guys, honestly, I think these are the exact same thing. Whoa. Wowzers. I think I forgot to mention I got this one at Walmart. It was like $5.50. But I, sorry, I was just covering the volume thing. But I had a $1 off coupon, so I got it for like 4 bucks. Definitely worth $4.00. Totally in love with it. It is a dupe for a $20 mascara, so girls go out and save $15. And yes. Amazing. Just amazing. Hey, everybody. Checking back in. Um, the mascara. Can't remember. I think. This side I did the Rimmel London. This side I did the Too Faced. Yes, that's correct. Um, um, so the Too Faced, whoa. The Too Faced one still looks like a full, like a nice, a nice lash. And the Rimmel one looks like an everyday type lash. Both are great mascaras. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a little bit of flaking. And there's a little bit of flaking. That might just have been that I started crying while watching Grey's Anatomy today. But. You cried? Yes, George died. Poor George. But I started crying, so. That may have a factor. I don't know if you can tell, but there is some on my eyelid. On both eyes. Um, is this a dupe or not? Um, I'd say this is a dupe. So, yeah. Bye. So, if you guys want more of these high-end versus drugstore dupe videos let me know in the comments below and if you think that these are if Rimmel London is a dupe for Too Faced also let me know because I think they are but you guys might think differently so yes thank you guys so much for watching I hope you have an amazing day you've been watching Killer Rebecca peace out